that Overlord franchise, 87 pence. Bloody hell. 87 pence for Overlord. Overlord's like freaking phenomenally good game. It's not recording, you know that, right? Oh, no, it is. Fuck it. I was going to say, it won't change colour when I'm streaming for some reason. I don't know. Okay, now. Gotcha. Hey? Got tone. Let's load the game up. Still got tone. Still looking good. Firing all cylinders. Boom. So yes, sir. <laughs> Very droll. Very droll. Confirm. Right. Ooh, who the hell's that? Uh, what? What? We're gonna have Chris. Sorry, Eon, but you are out of here, sir. And in your place, oh God, is going to be Jill, Miss Valentine herself. Now, <laughs> when I was, I had a practice run earlier, and Jill had a very unfortunate death. Um, <laughs> never mind, it's all part of the game. Uh, Albert. Mr. Wesker himself. Welcome aboard. Now, let's maybe not make him look quite so feminine. There we go. Okay, right, so I'm going to be playing on easy because I haven't actually beaten this game yet, and this game is bloody hard. When I say it's hard, uh, usually I can get to the end um, without too much trouble. Um, uh, when I get to the final uh, boss, that's when the trouble starts. He usually bends me over an asteroid and has his wicked way of my ship and my crew. Hopefully, it's not going to happen this time. We're going to go with a standard Kestrel, um, kind of like the basic ship, the Artemis missile launcher and the Burst Laser 2. Burst Laser 2 is a pretty cool weapon. Artemis is pretty good, apart from the fact that it actually takes ammo to use. Right, we're going to not use any of the new bonus content because I've never really played with it. I don't know it. We're just going to go completely vanilla on easy. And the data you carry is vital to the, rema uh, the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But to get to the oh yeah, but to get to the exit before the pursuing Rebo f Rebo Rebos, we're being chased by Rebos. Rebel fleet can catch up. Tip: Power bars upgrade. The systems can be helpful even if you don't have enough reactor power to use them. They still absorb one damage. Oh yes. Right, so here's our fine, majestic ship soaring through space. There's our money, we have 30 scrap, and you can actually spend scrap anytime you want on upgrading the ship, which we will get into a little bit later on. Um, so let's have a look. So Jill is at the engines, uh, Albert, good old Albert, Mr. Wesker there, he's manning the weapons, and Chris is at the helm. I like that system, so I'm going to save it. Is a little bit loud, okay. Uh, options you just fuck. the music. You be quiet, be quiet. Number two, all right. There we are. How's that? Mate. First mate. How did I get second when there's two of us? Really? I should be well, first I'm mate. captain. Yeah, I'm first mate. I'm captain of the sinking ship. Peter's captain, boy. Peter, swab the decks. Boopin'. Good lad. Right, let's jump. Now, this is our sector. Um, we have to basically explore the stars without getting the rebels, uh, well, without the rab, really, I can't speak, damn it, uh, without the rebels chasing us down and mercilessly killing us, which they will do. Um, so you want to maximize um, these boards. You can only jump X amount of times the amount of fuel we have. We have 16 units of fuel, so we can visit 16 locations. Uh, we have to be careful because every time we move one square, the rebels behind us, which you can't see yet, will also move one square. I'm certain most people are familiar with this game. I haven't played this game too much, but I do really, really like it. It's made by two people as far as I know. Made by two brothers, which is uh, pretty interesting. I like the graphics of the game. The music, the music is phenomenal. I cannot stress how good the music in this game is. Anyway, let's start jumping about. There's a store there, which is kind of handy, but we don't have a lot of money, so there's no point going straight to. Make it so, Captain. 
Ah, you detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Well, we're going to white knight this situation. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves to engage your ship. Uh, I don't think so. Alright, let's power up weapons. All of the weapons. Uh, there's no point having power to the sick bay. So we're not going to use that just yet. Now this is rather unfortunate, the fact that he has a drone. Um, now we can actually target individual subsystems, which is pretty good. We have a missile launcher, which will pass through enemy shields. And we have a bar, a little bit of bar, a burst laser, which I believe fires three shots. He has one unit of shield, so one shot is always going to be absorbed by the shield. So it gives us potentially two chances to hit. Right. Okay, wait for weapons to charge. There we go, Artemis. First thing we're going to do, disable his weapons. Disable his weapons. Oh, fantastic shot there. Well done, Albert. You're really letting the team down big time. Another chance. Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is probably the worst start I've had. Because at the beginning of the game, a drone is kind of a pain. There we go. It's uh, really? Really, drone? Making me look stupid. Alright, power up everything again. Okay. These drones are a pain. You can't shoot them down as far as I'm aware either. Uh, let's take a drone bay out. You can actually disable the drone, like so. Which is probably going to be the best course of action here. Now. Now he can't actually attack us. A lot of people I see shoot out the shield generator, but there's no real point in that. Um, at least not to begin with, anyway. We're just going to keep his uh, shields offline. And good night, you son of a bitch. Got three fuel, one drone part, and 13 cash for that. Lovely. And there we go. The uh, outpost's actually given us um, some more stuff as well. Wonderful. Now, these are our missiles. Obviously, need these for our missile launcher. These, depending on the run, can be very rare. So, hmm, we don't, we're not going to go gun ho with the missiles. Uh, like I say, missiles are very powerful. And we actually have a damaged system there. So, let's get two people in to repair it. Now, the, your characters actually have skills and they will go up. Uh, as you go through the game. Uh, one thing that can screw you over royally is if you lose somebody. Um, if you lose a pretty powered up uh, ship member, yep, you can be pretty screwed. We will have opportunities uh, later on in the game, hopefully, to uh, get some more crew members, which really does help out. Now, every man station um, if you put a crew member in one of these stations, they will get a small bonus to said station. Okay, you go sit over there. Right, we're ready to move on. Took a little bit of damage there, but nothing to worry about. Hopefully we can keep building scrap. Aha! Auto scouts. You discover one of the rebels uh, autonomous scouts. The ship's AO AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. That's fine. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. Aha, okay. So, mm -hmm. so basically it's trying to run away. Ah, oh, listen to that music. It's fantastic. It's so good. I hope you have the sample levels okay. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is take this... There we go. I was going to say my uh, buttons weren't working there. Don't phone me when I'm streaming. God damn it. Okay, so the ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you'll hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Yeah, for now. We actually profited. We, well, we didn't profit. We broke even. We got our missile back. Plenty of fuel, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Let's go here before we go to the store. And hopefully, we'll have a little bit of a, a chance to find some more stuff. A ship with a... Uh, uh, oh. Okay. Equipment for sale. Really? So what should we do? I reckon we should probably... Hail the ship. The ship responds, yes, we have an extensive stock. Come aboard and see our wares. Oh... This could, hmm, this could be bad actually. Uh, I think though, 
I, I've never actually um, tried this. One second, let me sort out my uh, Majubra here. For some reason, it's gone to sleep. There we go. Good stuff. Now, um, hmm. I'm going to say this seems dangerous and leave. Because if we dock with the ship, I think there's a chance that someone will die. Losing a crew member this early in the ship, uh, this earlier in the run, I should say, can be pretty catastrophic. Uh, so this seems dangerous. As soon as you start a reversion ship, the pirate reveals in weaponry and sets off in pursuit. You'll have to fight him to escape. Well, that's... No, I don't have a problem with that. There's way too many pirates around these parts anyway. Oh boy, playing this just makes me want Star Citizen. Okay, let's wait for our first laser to be ready. And let's get his weapon systems offline. Like I say, own oh god, uh, powering up his FTL. I don't think so. Artemis is ass. Right, okay, we've got a problem. They've just taken our oxygen uh, generator offline, so our oxygen is going to slowly tick down. So let's get someone in there to repair. Ooh, good hits. Get on that, Jill. Need that repaired ASAP. First laser ready. Fire at weapons. Good night, you bastard. Sent from packing. Ah, uh, what do we get? We get one missile, 23 scrap. Not bad, not bad. Send everybody back. Uh, actually, whilst it's peaceful, let's go send Jill to be healed. Um, yeah. Sometimes I forget to send my people to go and be healed and then you'll get boarded by enemies and not a pretty sight if I'm honest folks they can rip you to pieces and they will if they get the chance okay so we've got almost a hundred the rebels are still quite far away so I'm gonna risk it I'm gonna jump to there then jump to there um now nah, you know what let's just check the store out I don't want to backtrack too much we've got plenty of fuel a ship engineer has set up a small ship shop here. So what do we have? Stealth weapons. Prevents your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot at will whilst cloaked. Can't guarantee we're going to get cloaked, so pretty pointless to be honest. We are going to repair everything. Um, what else do they have? Ah, heavy laser. A whole laser. Ah, okay, we've got some nice fat juicy weapons here let's we don't need mm, get a little bit of fuel just because it's always nice to have missiles we've got seven uh, so heavy lasers can wreak havoc on their smaller burst, uh, burst laser counterparts charge time nine seconds uh, <laughs> so it only has one shot per charge so you better hope sh the shields are down before you unleash that thing. But the whole smasher laser mark too. Mm, shots, three shots, normal damage, fire. Let's go for something a little bit more exotic. Let's get that. That actually takes three units of power to power it. So if we take our Artemis offline and we take our yeah that offline. We still need an extra unit of power, so the next thing we're going to do is start upgrading our power plant. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go to this unvisited location beyond the moon. Possibly. Ah, hello. Uh, on completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on my way. Well, sir, stick your offer up your ass. You better die. Too bad, you'll regret this decision. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to regret the decisions at all. I don't know what weapon... Ah, that weapon's... Uh, I don't think he's much of a threat, to be honest. Well done. He's as accurate as uh, old Albert there. Although, Albert did put the smack down on him that time. Come on, burst laser. Charge. I guess we could have our Artemis ready to use, but it's probably not going to need it. Nice. Good few hits there. Now this whole laser, I don't know if I've had one of those before, so I'm looking forward to seeing that puppy powered up. Oh, they landed a shot, but good old shields absorbed it. Come on, burst laser. Albert, wind that crank faster, son. Come on. 
There we go. Nice. And to the victor of the spoils, what do we get? Three fuel. Three fuel's not bad, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, uh, we actually have to upgrade our weapons uh, two more times before we can even have that, to be honest. So, let's get another bar of power. Leave it at that for now. Uh, that way we can have our engines completely powered. And we can put another... Oh, I guess what we could do is take everything offline and just power those. Or power that. And it does fire three shots. Let's try it out. What's the worst that could happen, honestly? Uh, oh, distress. Let's check out the distress school. Um, oh, you locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spread. Oh, dear. Um... We don't really have enough crew to... That can go badly and you can lose a crew member. Yeah. I'm not going to risk any of my crew members today. Thank you. Uh, let's jump to the middle of the board. Ah. Oh, yeah. This could be bad. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerous and close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves to engage. Yep, every now and again we'll have solar flares and they can catch us on fire and do all kinds of nasty damage to us. So we're going to want to make this quick. He's got some tasty looking well, I don't know what that is. That's just a normal laser, I think. Ow. That's alright. Could be worse. Let's take his weapons offline. Ooh, damn. That thing's pretty good. It's actually disabling that as well, which isn't going to... Do many favours because it doesn't matter. Oh god, solar flare imminent. Goodbye, you bastard. Fire. Fire in the ship. Well, the best way to deal with fire. Ooh, <coughs> best way to deal with fire is to get our guys out of there. And just flush the area. Starve it of oxygen. It's actually a good way of getting rid of uh, enemy borders as well. Damn it. Come on, Albert. Prove your worth with your fire extingu extinguisher and my bob. You would have thought they'd have some kind of high tech system of getting rid of this, but uh, alas, no. Oh god, jump, jump before the next wave hits. We're not really ready to engage, but it's far out oh, great. Your ship is hailed. We've found you at last. Prepare to die. Ah, uh, not today, Sunny Jim. Let's close all our doors. Oh, he has a drone. Right, you get back in there. Probably gonna get injured, but it's fine. probably, probably fine. There we go. Right, let's get this. Nice weapons down. I guess we could. Nah, we're not gonna use any missiles. This guy go down pretty easy, to be honest. And let's hit. I guess we could just. No, he's got his weapons back. Ah, oh, unlucky. That is not fantastic, if I'm honest. Ah, oh, that's okay. He can't actually get through our shields. We have no reason to fear this guy whatsoever. There we go. Yeah, he only has um, that one laser. To be fair, that's a powerful laser, but it can't get through our shields, so it doesn't matter. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's a missile defense drone, but I could be wrong. Oh, Wesker. How's he doing, actually? Yeah, his skill is improving a little bit. Which is good. Come on, give me one volley. One more volley. So you probably need two more. Oh, good shooting there. Well done, Tex. I guess, to be fair, we don't really need to have anything to fear from this guy, so Jill can go and repair the sick bay. There we go. That's what I like to see. One more well placed shot and that thing's history. We can finally move on. Um, these guys are probably shitting themselves now. I don't blame them. I probably would be in their situation too. Hell, we're going to be in that situation most likely before long. Ah, I'll take it. Now, let's get some more power and upgrade 
need that. Alright, so we've got more power, but unfortunately, yeah, we need to upgrade our shields one more time, and then we'll have a second barrier of shields. By the time you get like three loads of shields, or if you're lucky, four uh, barriers of shields, you're pretty powerful, to be honest. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Yeah, because we're right in the firing line. Now, if you get into, um, like, uh, if the rebels actually catch up with you, um, it's not too bad. But when you fall really far behind in their territory, you're basically dead. There's not a lot you can do. So, let's jump into a nebula. An unvisited location. The nebula here will make uh, the fleet pursue you slower, but will destruct your sensors. Yeah. But that's okay. Oh, God. You jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel uh, scout stationed at the beacon moves into attack. That's fine. Yeah, notice our sensors are offline. Uh, really to the latter, to be honest. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, this could be problematic. You actually lose power as well. Uh, so we don't have enough. Cut power to... Okay. We may have to rely on our Artemis missile launcher. Hopefully it'll get the job done. Because we only have one spare power bar. Um, so it's going to have to be Mr. Artemis here. Make your shot count. Come on, Albert. There we go. Not bad, actually. Ooh. Missiles are so annoying. They... Yeah, if they hit, they just get a free hit on you. Doesn't matter about your shields. Let's keep raining that down. Now, drones do automatically repair, but they repair relatively slowly, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Our biggest worry would be if there's fire in these, either of these two rooms. Which there is not. Which is good. If there's fire, that would be relatively problematic. Um, right. Let's check out our ship. I guess we could put another... Now, I want to get shields first. Shields are so important. Hmm. The only problem we have... Ooh. Trade three missiles. We're going to ignore that. Uh, apparently the music's still too loud. So let's just tweak it down a little bit more. There we go. Right. Nothing here, so let's jump ahead. Uh, I guess we can go there. Ah, here we are. Intruders on board, you find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby. The remains of battle. You begin to harvest some usable debris when you hear the sounds of someone being on board, followed by the shouts of a boarding party. Ha! Right, so they've actually beamed aboard what they had left as well, which is kind of interesting. Oh dear. Three of them. Hmm. Right, let's regroup everyone into the sick bay. Uh, we are going to turn our engines off because that is not going to help us at all. And there is at least. Oh god, no. There is at least four of them, I think, from what I've just seen. Right, so everyone hide out in the sick bay. Now, it doesn't matter too much if they damage our systems. Because we can just repair ourselves. Shit. Okay. That is not good. We can't actually beat that many people, unfortunately. Which is kind of annoying. Um, I say we can't beat that many people, we can. We just can't beat that many people without being in the sick bay. Um, so they're probably going to do a number on our base, uh, on our ship. Let's just keep the oxygen out of the ship if we can. Uh, leave it like that for now. Hopefully we'll force them to have to come in here. Yeah, where we continuously keep getting healed, but they won't. Checkmate, you bastards. Come on, man! Fight to the last. As you can see, they are getting damaged, but they're just instantly being healed, which is fine. And look at that! There's one little shit running around, destroying everything. 
typical. What a dick. But that's okay, I guess. They're all dead. Right, let's close... Ooh. Actually, let's just force him to have to come to us. Probably the... There we go, he's come to us. Silly mistake, sir. Although, to be fair, what choice did he have? He was going to die wherever he went. Right, let's shut all doors. Now we're going to have to wait a little while for the air oxygen to come back in. There we go. Good enough. Right, come on everyone, repair the systems. Get everything back online. Work faster, damn it. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter because uh, there's nothing here that can hurt us. And this should get everybody's repair skill up a little bit, hopefully. Repair skill is pretty damn important. The annoying thing is, though, when you get to the point where you're taking heavy ship damage uh, in multiple sectors, you're probably screwed anyway, so I guess it's not overly important. It's not one of the most important things. I think weapons, shields, uh, engine, and piloting are probably the most important. Okay, let's send everybody back. Oxygen is pretty much almost back. Right. Engine. Ah, yes, because our engine is not powered. Never a good sign. Let's give it as much power as we can. Actually, we've got 37 scrap now. So let's... I guess we could get... No, we do. We need the power bars, to be honest. We can actually afford to have something online now. Power bars are so important. It does get expensive, though. It really does. Ready to jump? Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's just go. Now you want to try and maximise these boards as much as we can. Oh great, straight into a nebula. Long range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Okay, cool. Uh, power up. Might as well have everything powered because we can afford to have everything powered. Two levels of shields. Beautiful. That's pretty powerful to be honest. To be this uh, late in the game. Let's go to the next sector. Now, Ah, not overly great. Green sectors are um, pretty safe. Red uh, sectors are hostile, uh, which means you get into a lot more fights. Civilian sectors do have their bonuses, though. I mean, I, as far as I know, you have a higher chance of getting crew and uh, decent things happening to you. Obviously, red sectors we will get a lot of flak, a lot of enemies. Again, could be a good thing. And uh, nebulas are not very nice places, really, so we're going to avoid it if we can. Let's go to... Let's go to the civilian sector. Right, welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and, yep, we will. Still got plenty of fuel, which is good. And no nebulas at all, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, let's go down here first. Ah, scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Uh, yeah, explore. Brief... Ah, oh, brief exploration yields nothing of interest. Well, I guess it's better to get nothing than something bad. Okay, let's jump. Any distress signals? Nothing yet. We need more money. Ah, small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a refueling station of some sort, and it is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices. Okay, let's uh, let's dock. The platform makes an offer. Nine scrap for five fuel. To be fair, fuel is never a bad idea, even if you have loads of it, and that's pretty cheap. And we've only got 12 scrap, which we can do fuck all with, to be fair, so. All right, load us up. And there's a store. Okay, it doesn't matter, because we wouldn't have been able to do anything with 12 scrap anyway, unless we got extremely lucky, mind. Pirate ship was lying in wait inside. Ah, more like it. Turn and fight. Absolutely. Frickin' lootly. I'm gonna pussy away from these guys. Ooh. We're gonna rely on our burst laser here a little bit. Let's unload into his shields or his weapon systems. Go on. Give him a missile. Take that sucker offline. Beautiful. Now hopefully we can keep that his weapon system offline and just pummel him now. 
beautiful. Ah, uh, take everything we have and let's both forget this thing happened. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. Not to a pirate scum such as yourselves. We are here to white knight the galaxy. He's too dangerous to have that missile. Get out of here. So what do we get? We actually got more. Uh, not bad. 31. Now we want to get out of here as quick as we can because we're just getting bombarded by damn asteroids. Ready to jump. Where should we go? Let's go up here. I don't want to deviate too far from the store. And hopefully we will check it out. Ooh, pay their toll. <laughs> oh, what a joke. Right, come on then. Too bad, you'll regret this decision. Yes, you will. Right, now, everything's charging. Burst laser ready. Aim for the weapons. Artemis. Ooh, damn. Yeah, these guys have a hell of a shield. Yeah, these guys have a really powerful shield. Maybe... We'll eat our words. Oh god, fire. Bugger. Uh, yeah, good luck with that, Joe. Hopefully she'll, she'll do the right thing and not die. There we go, their weapons are offline. Okay, Jill has bitten off more than she can handle. So get out of there and we're going to flush this place. Oh god, we can't because they've destroyed... Ha! <sighs> they have destroyed our door controls. Well, not to worry. We'll worry about that in a minute. Open up the burst laser again. Oh, you bastard charge. There we go. Good night. Now, let's get our door controls repaired so we can flush the fire. Ah, I've got another missile. We're actually getting dangerously low on missiles. Bags of fuel, though. Ah, that beautiful music. Beautiful music. Right, let's get area flushed. This fire would have become quite a problem by the look of things. It actually spread quite quick. But haha, -ha, fire cannot beat lack of oxygen, luckily. Right, let's get this engine repaired and then we'll be on our way. Uh, Jill could use a little bit of time in the old uh, clinic, but ah, she'll be fine. Let's get a third guy in there, why not? How are things looking? Pretty good, actually. Alright, return to your points. You know what, Jill? Get healed. I don't want to risk uh, her or anybody dying due to a stupid mistake. Right, let's jump. Ah, distress. Let's go to the distress. What do we got? You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has... Ah... Uh, no. Ooh, I don't know what to do because you can get something really good out of this, but no, it's way too risky, if I'm honest. Um, where does that? Okay, yeah, we're getting a little bit too far away from the store now. Peter! It's not Peter, it's my foot, I think. <laughs> a nearby planet shows a sign of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Continue. Ha. Huh. I'm pretty sure I've had that before. And that can be bad. If I'm not mistaken... Uh, I think one of our crew has a chance sure. there, maybe, to turn into something nasty in a few jumps time. Hopefully we're fine, but <laughs> I guess we'll see. Transmission from the nearby planet indicates the outpost below, which offers supplies to travellers. You send them down an away party to check it out. Right, ah, we can actually buy a new guy here, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Uh, can I actually get another, oh no, no, no this is cell. I don't really want to sell anything. Um, crew teleporter allows to send your crew members to board enemy vessels. I don't think so. Um, hmm. Now these guys, Mantists, um, they're pretty good in combat, but they do have half repair speed. What about these guys? Provides power to occupied systems. Max health reduced to 70. Uh, minus 15 damage to enemy crew on death. Hmm. 
These guys are actually pretty damn good. Uh, because, yeah, okay. We're gonna get one of these guys. Should we get... Hmm, we've already got a Chris. Right, now you... You are going to go to the shields. How well can you operate said shields? That's not bad. Yeah, so he's actually using one bar of power, his own power, if you will. So we actually profited a bar of power from that. That's not bad. So yes, you are now the shield guy. <coughs> that is now your curse. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Do need... Ah, hello. A ship with... Uh, all oh, right, okay. Attack him before he can attack. Yep, damn straight. Ooh, he's got some tasty looking weapons. But that's fine, so do we. Burst laser, to be fair, it's not a bad weapon. Especially for like a starting weapon. Damn it. We really do need to start getting some more missiles. What I try and do uh, is to actually get rid of the Artemis missile launcher at some point. I prefer my beam weapons. I mean, missiles do have their advantage for sure, but they also have a huge disadvantage where you need a lot of ammo to feed them. There we go. That's not bad. One system down. I really want to try and upgrade my ship so we can get that whole laser Mark II online. If we can get that puppy online, we're pretty powerful. There we go. It's pretty screwed. We only have four missiles left, so we want to kind of hang on to those if we can. Right, let's open up. Almost there. Just leave it on auto fire. Can disable the Artemis. We're probably never going to need it in this fight. Good night, you son of a bitch. 24 cash. That's not bad. I don't think we can actually do anything with that. Not really. Upgrading to the um, the next level, at least, of your healing bay is not a bad idea either, because that is a, the healing bay, as we demonstrated earlier, can be a really, really good place to um, to hold the line if you get badly invaded. Now we need to get more power, so we need 35 um, cash before we can really do anything. We also want to be a little bit careful because our hull is actually starting to get quite nasty damaged. So anyway, let's jump. Uh, yeah, let's go there first. Ooh. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying, Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blocked the system. Do you have any extra explosives? We can offer to solve their problem by launching a missile. I'm pretty sure this is a good thing to do. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, we have certain protocols for the uh, use of explosives around the world. Ah, launching military-grade weapon into our minds isn't exactly what I call union-friendly. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, we don't have enough weaponry to give them, unfortunately, so there's nothing we can do. That's a little bit disappointing because you can get some good stuff out of there. Let's go to the distress speaker. Keep marching forwards, guys. Right, okay. Ah, uh, you find the source of the distress call. A small research station it appears to be a small laboratory fire, but out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Um. Right. So we've got two choices here. We can send our crew in a shuttle to help out the fire. Probably a bad idea. Or we can dock and try and rescue the survivors again. Uh, I'm going to dock because quite often doing this, uh, I've got another crew member out of it. Quite often doing that, I've lost a crew member. So, dock. Ooh. You locate the highest uh, concentration of life forms and bring the ship alongside the station. Before you can begin to offload the survivors, a huge blast splits the station apart. Your ship is thrown away and, uh, and some debris pierce your hull. You watch helplessly as the last of the survivors are consumed in the collapse of the station. Damn. Ah oh, well, not our problem. Although we did take a nasty hit there. But that is, uh, that's fine. What can you do? We tried. 
yeah, you can lose a crew member or two there, which is uh, less than fantastic. We actually have 40 scrap. Let's upgrade our guns. And now what we can do is take that offline. Now, that'd be our main weapon now then. And we'll also have the Artemis. Oh no, we can't. Yeah, we can. We'll have the Artemis as backup. Um, there we go. Hopefully, if we upgrade it, I think upgrading it again actually is quite expensive. Yeah, so we're going to need 50. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Right, let's return everybody to their places and get the hell out of here. Now we have time to go to there first. We got tons of fuel. Fuel is just not a problem whatsoever. Uh, you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage your ship. Well, we're going to demand they give us their uh, goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Bad move, guys. They're charging FTL. That's okay. Hopefully. We'll have a chance to get an Artemis in their ass, like so. Yes, nice. There we go. Good stuff. Their FTL drive should be out of the action now. Um, should be okay. Actually, no. We're gonna gonna. Oh god. Yeah, we may have to spend some missiles here. Should be alright though. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, turn the Artemis off. We only have one missile left. Ah, 17. Okay, we got another missile out of that and some fuel. Not, not a fantastic uh, result, to be fair, but whatever. Arrived at the long range beacon. Uh, nothing here. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found. Oh boy. Should we take a risk? Let's take a risk. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly coloured, six legged horse like animals. Could they be what your scans? Hmm. Let's try and communicate peacefully. Ah, hello. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters towards you and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, they guide you to an old NG ship crash site. Inside, you're able to find and reactivate an NG. Ooh, not bad. So we've got one fuel, one rocket, a little bit of money, and a new crew member. Brilliant result that was, if I say so. Now, <clears throat> where can we send this guy? Let's put him in the scanner. No, in the, uh, um, uh, I'm trying to remember which one's the best. Uh, if we put them in the doors, that actually gives us, man, one plus system level, which, uh, ah, it just makes the doors tougher. Yeah, okay. So that's not overly important just yet. So let's stick him in the scanner room. And I believe if we put him in the sensor room, one plus to system level, that actually gives us see enemy interior, which is actually quite useful. Um, so next time we come up against an enemy, we'll be able to see where their crew is. And if you want to be kind of tactical, you can um, target certain, certain crew members and that kind of stuff. Uh, hmm. Only 35 cash. We want to try and hold on to that, actually, because we need to start thinking about repairing our ship. Let's jump. Next sector. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's... Uncharted Nebula. Hmm. I don't think we're ready for that. Oh, God, actually. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Let's go to the NG home world. And then we're going to have to go into a bad place which we may not return from. You arrived at the NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Okay. Um, let's jump there first. What do we got? Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the F 
Yeah, right, let's scan. Ooh, not bad. Three missiles and a lot of cash. Ship. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's buy that. Because now... We can have the whole laser and the burst laser activated. That's not too shabby, to be fair. Right, let's check out up here first. That's, yeah, so we've got five uh, lasers. Ooh. You arrive at a small fleet of civilian uh, energy ships. A simple decryption and translation of their com frequency tells you that they're having a frantic discussion on something obviously troubling them. Well, good thing we have an energy crew member. Let's get them to contact them. Your crew member syncs with the comms unit to communicate with them directly. You offer your help and a summary of the ship's mission. They respond, our goals have analog... Oh, God. Uh, let's offer our help. Secret technology stolen by Mantis. Impact. Connection to rebels. Uh, ah, okay, so we've got a quest. However, track second ship to a different base. Would calculate probability, but data insufficient. Cannot risk obvious rebel energy conflict. Also, need time to acquire military ships. Assist in finding technology. So we've actually got two missions to do for these guys. So let's do it. I've never done this uh, quest, actually, so... An NG ship in the vicinity, seeing you jump armed to the t in, armed to the teeth, immediately broadcast its surrender. Uh, subject goal, wealth, <laughs> NG motivation, survival, transfer of goods acceptable. Uh, we're not going to do that because we're friendly. The NG is satisfied with the explanation. Beneficial subject goal, long, long journey. Remains comparable with transfer of goods from NG. They send over the gear willingly and you feel better for it. I would say so. Not bad, so we've got 6-6 six, six cash. Let cash. Cash, 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 cash. Let's start upgrading our engines. Engines is a real good thing to upgrade. Just put one, just do that. There we go. So we've got a little bit more power, a little bit more engines. That uh, will increase our evasion and chance to dodge. Right, let's jump. Need to be careful. We need to see how long the stream's been going for. Actually, <sighs> almost an hour. I may have to cut it short in a minute. You find a space station set up for travelers browsing through its listings. You find a tavern full of mercenaries for hire. You look for potential crew members. We can't actually afford any, unfortunately. Um, it's a bit of a shame. Never mind. Right, let's head to this quest zone here. You arrive at one of the rebel bases that the NG told you about. It appears abandoned, except for one scout ship. Perhaps you could extract some information from them. As soon as they see you, they power up their engines and jump away. Stop them! Alrighty, I'm sure we can manage that. Everything on the engines. We have eight missiles as well if we get into a bit of a bind, which is good. Oh, beautiful. We actually set them on fire. Well, set that area on fire anyway. So tempted to send a missile in there. Ooh, yes, look at that. Stop, I don't want to die. Okay, so we can demand. Actually, I think we killed two of their crew members there. Demand the stolen technology. Ah, so that's what you're after. Too bad, you followed the wrong ship. The envoy that passed through here was a fake to trick fools like you. Well, we're not going to let them go. Ignore him and attack. No, wait. You cut the transmission and continue the assault. I'm not buying any of your bullshit today, sir. Let's take that guy out. Go at the helm. They cannot run away if all their crew's dead. Ooh, actually. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I wonder what would have happened if uh, we actually killed all their crew. I wonder if we would have got more stuff from it. Um. Hmm. Let's not spend any money just yet. Let's jump. Uh, probably the best thing to do is to just jump there. 
I worry that we're not maximizing enough jumps. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship uh, drifting through the system, no doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else is trying to avoid. Let's hail them. The vessel uh, is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They suggested trade. Two missiles for five fuel. Yeah, we'll go for that because missiles are no longer super super important to us but fuel is always nice fuel is something that we're always going to need uh, let's jump to there this is a nice board oh hello a settlement still loyal to the federation hails your ship they have prepared a weapon to aid your escape from the rebels iron blast that's interesting drains and lock systems are Shots per charge, one. So it's not brilliant, but yeah. I guess for free, we'll take it. We have a lot of money now, too. Hmm. Upgrading for more power is never a bad idea. And shields is also never a bad idea. Okay. Let's go there first. We're going to do the quest, but hopefully we'll get some cash first. Aha! You find a Manta ship hurrying a small, oh, harrying a small squad of NG. They make uh, make it to the node and jump off, leaving you toe to toe with them. Zero. That's fine. Oh God! Intruders on board. You two, deal with that, please. Unfortunately, that is a mantis, and they're quite tough, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. Oh god, that was that was silly actually sending those two. Let's send these two. Yeah, we kind of need someone at the weapons. It's pretty short-sighted of me to actually take them away. Take out their weapon systems. Next shot on that. Oh, great. Way to miss everything. Let's get a little bit low on health, send it back. Not bad. Everybody back to their positions. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Causing some proper damage to them now. Yeah, you can see how deadly uh, assaults can be if they get on board. Uh, they can be really deadly. Okay, everything going relatively smoothly. We should have this guy sucking void before long. Jill Aries and Mr. Y here is going to need some medical attention. You in there. Ooh, not bad. You in there. You in there. And who else is injured? Ah, oh, you. You, sir. Ah, oh, we didn't sink him up to an area. That's okay. Everybody back to their positions. You man the sensors. And we're going to save that. There we go. Alright, let's jump ahead. Uh, hmm. We're going to jump there first. This could be costly, but I think we'll be alright. There must have been rich. Uh, there must have been rich pickings for pirates around here. Uh, until war broke out, the pirates you encounter here looks worn down but hungry. You have to fight. I'm sure we can manage a pirate or two. Lock all of our weapons onto not that onto the weapons. There we are. I don't think he has too much that can really hurt us, to be honest. No. <laughs> That's it. That's okay. This guy should be space dust before long. Oh, and we should as well, if we're lucky, get some good hits on those two crew members, which would be quite, quite, quite disastrous to his health. Yeah, if he loses these two crew members, he's going to be screwed. Damn, we keep missing. Come on, Albert, what the hell are you playing at? Get that thing out of my space. We've got a lot of rounds coming. Ooh, enemy appears to be powering his FTL. Not on my watch. All weapons on the engines. Now, engines are pretty important, as you can gather, so that should actually get the crew. Yeah, the crew's going to try and repair that. 
Ah, uh, surrender. Uh, I don't accept surrender. You should have thought about that before you started attacking me. Not bad. We really don't. Ah, it's a store. Let's go to the store. We may have missed out on the quest, though. Engine upgrades necessarily. Yeah. Okay. The let. Oh, we can buy another member of crew, but I don't think we really need it. Fire beam. Uh, high hold damage plus decent breach chance. Hmm. Requires missiles. Long charge time. Interesting. Interesting. Let's fix everything. Ah, repair arm. Repairs your hull every time you collect scrap, but reduces scrap collected by 15%. Boost the ship's shield recharge rate by 15%. Ooh, two pretty damn good weapons. Uh, two pretty damn good items, items, actually. Let's get rid of the iron blast. Pretty sure we're never going to use that. How do we sell stuff? Ah, I see. Sell that, and I don't know about the Artemis, probably not. Shield recharge booster, 15% doesn't sound like much, but it really can be. Let's... Hmm. Let's get that, actually, because that's always going to be pretty helpful. Very tempted to sell the Artemis as well, if I'm honest. But we won't get a lot for it. So we won't. Let's move on. Now... Oh yeah, I thought that might happen. The quest's actually disappeared. That's a bit of a shame. We're going to have to fight our way out, but that's not a problem. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Fine. Ooh, weapon systems powering nicely. Prepare to duel. Elite fighter. Ah, this guy's actually relatively tough. But that's fine. We shouldn't have too much trouble with this guy. Ah, weapon system is already damaged. Looking good. Let's continue to rain death down. Now, if you were really deep into the enemy territory, uh, these ships in the background would actually be firing at you. Which is pretty worrying when that stuff starts happening, to be honest. Nice. Yeah, I think that. Um, 15% uh, shield recharge rate is actually going to be really handy. Hopefully. Oh, look at that. Just killed two of their crew. I am not complaining about that. That is pretty fantastic shooting there. Come on. If we can kill him as well, that would be incredibly funny. That's alright. Knock the shields down. Oh, come on. Nah, it's not going to happen. His ship's pretty screwed, though. All that fire. His engines are about to burn out. He's probably worried, actually. Goodbye. Are we going to get any goods? I don't think we actually get anything from here. No time to salvage the ship. Let's jump to the next sector. And this is going to be pirate controlled, which means it's going to be a nasty ass place. However, I think. Oh, it's half past nine. I'm going to have to call it a stream there, guys. Uh, a few Federation friendly planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector, so be careful. Right, okay, guys. I'm going to have to actually save it there, which is um, kind of annoying. I was hoping I could get a run done in an hour, but but I guess when we come back to the stream, I might stream this again tomorrow night. Not definitely, but if I've got time, we might finish this off tomorrow night. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I know I have. Thanks for watching. Until next time.